Welcome back, Rangers. Uh, the Proteus wanted to ask how the device to capture Iridium is coming along. Uh, the Proteus thanks you for collecting them all, Rangers, uh, but hope you'll give them to Goiter soon. Our grief that we could not worship in the presence of the Holy Detonation gets worse every hour. Almost there. Hey again, how's it going? Perfect! All right, hand it all over and let me do a little tinkering. Just gotta connect the Gozenta to the Gozauda and realign the doohickeys and... All right, Rangers, there you go. Your very own Radiation Angel containment device. Well, it will be once you connect it to the energy siphon I built in the cooling pool room. Hopefully, Iridium's far enough away from the siphon that she doesn't burn you to the ground before you get it hooked up. Oh, and take this. Just a few things you might find handy when you meet Deuterium face to face. Go with the flow, Rangers! The of the infinite manifests in the here and now. Lo, bring it forth that I may festoon it with my virulence. Absolve these who syncopate against your verisimilitude, O prevalent one. Genuflect before mine calipigian effulgence, thou erroneous. And the luminosity and the paradoxity, the lassitude and the lacrimose. Transducite precipice lackwits, thou gazest upon thy supernumerary. Penins, a pellets. Woe be clemency and calamity coalesce. Great work capturing Iridium Rangers. Praise the glow. <laughs> the Proteus is really pleased. Deuterium will have to listen to you now, and maybe he'll even agree to reunite with us. Uh, okay. Uh, the Proteus says you should take Iridium to the power storage facility elevator and see if Deuterium will open it for her, then ride down with her. Uh, after that, uh, well, listen, Rangers, uh, the Proteus and I... Uh, have I mentioned how we want to end our conflict with the Nucleus and make us all one again? <laughs> uh, well, thanks to your friend Theo Curie, there might be a way. Uh, see, uh, Deuterium really wants to be a Radiation Angel so he can be with Iridium. Uh, but till now, it seems random how a person will mutate, uh, so he's been afraid. Well, Theo thinks he's found a way to choose how you change. Not exactly, <laughs> but figuring out the details of making it work isn't going to happen overnight. Uh, Theo will have to do a lot of studying here and maybe bring some colleagues. To achieve his dream, Deuterium would be forced to let them stay, and he'd finally have to see the value of staying connected with the world and abandon his isolationist, nucleus ways. He would become, once again, a primordialist. Uh, thank you, Proteus. 
I'll mention it. So, <clears throat> I'm sure it's already pretty clear to you, Rangers, <laughs> but Abiduterium is as hard-headed and hide-bound as they come. He thinks we're not worth talking to, so imagine how he feels about total outsiders. <sighs> this is just to warn you that it's not going to be easy to convince him of anything, or even get him talking. So the more you can do to get on his good side, the better. <sighs> okay, that's it. Good luck. We'll all be praying for you up here. May the light of the glow shine upon you. of the apothecaries shall be met with devastation and filigree. Experiment 42, effects of holy radiation on the common domestic pig. Blessed be the glow. Experiment complete. Subject experienced total cellular disassembly on the conduit. They also released a burst of holy radiation upon death, which fed back to the angel and hurt her. Further study on this phenomenon is required. Was it because the subject was unworthy of the glow's blessing, or merely incapable of receiving it? Hmm. to thy sylvan mendacity. Vouchsafe vain glory upon our divine interlocution. Hey, you sound just like him. Ah, benign acquiescence is a pheromone upon the soul. Sequentially melodious. Declamations regalia. Is it the radiation that's making you talk like that? Ah, fulsome lenticular pontifications. Blessed be thy halitosis and thy otiosis. Munificent magnificence abounds above thy peregrinations, natal chrysalids. Thou art fecund. And elided. Be absconded and absolved and honored, thou faithful, fraternal, and serene. Amend and amen. Iridium, beloved! 
you return to me. Oh, thank the holy detonation. Quickly, my dear, to the platform. You'll be shielded there. And you, brothers, to your power conduits, so that you may receive her blessed energy. And do not leave your positions. Leaving a conduit unmanned could endanger Iridium. Lowless fools are welcome, they won't soon forget! Rangers, this is Father Bezor. We can see on our monitors that Iridium has joined Deuterium in the ritual chamber and is moving to the charging platform. Uh, that might be, uh, fatal for you. I... Uh, I was hoping Deuterium would at least give you a chance to talk, seeing as you brought Iridium back to him. Uh, but it looks like he's preparing for battle. Maybe he'll listen to you if you've got some glow on you and you talk fast. Uh, you did bring her back to him after all. But if you do have to fight, uh, well, <laughs> all I can say is good luck to you. Uh, may the glow be with you, Rangers. of the preternatural abasement. <clears throat> the outsiders. I knew you wouldn't be long. I suppose you expect me to thank you for reuniting me with my love, Iridium. But I will not. You didn't do it for me. It's clear you have some vile plan for the holy detonation. A plan that fool the Proteus is too trusting to question. Well, I am no fool. Outsiders can never be trusted. The only good ones are dead ones. That's why I let you follow Iridium. So she can cleanse this place of you. Then finish what we started with the Primordialist before you so rudely interrupt it. Hmm. I see at least one of you has truly welcomed the glow of the holy detonation into their body, and is on the cusp of transcendence. So perhaps you are sympathetic to our cause. Speak then. How can you expect that, when we don't even worship the same god? Oh, the Primordialists say they worship the Holy Detonation, but they don't! What they really worship is that big tub of giggling goo out there, which wants us all to dissolve our brains into its own mindless oatmeal muck! They want us all to be one! when we could all be gods. And worse, they want to share. They want to allow outsiders to join us. Outsiders like you. They want everyone to enjoy the warmth of the glow, not just the pious. What makes you think we would ever want to reunite with fools like that? What? You mean so Iridium and I can... Is this some sort of cruel trick? Are you sweet-talking me to make me let down my guard? It's no trick, Abbott. I haven't figured out the details yet, but it should work. The data I've been able to find so far paints a clear picture of the processes of mutation and what can be done to affect them. Give me time and access to Cheyenne's records and equipment. And I am almost certain I can give you what you want. 
Am I supposed to trust an outsider with my heart? My dreams? I... I need a guarantee. I need proof that you're not just tricking me. You need to put some skin in the game. Skin? Ha! <laughs> That's it! All right. I'll rejoin the Primordialists if one of you joins us. Do you have someone willing to take part in a little ritual of initiation and transcendence? Hmm. Prayer. The taking of oaths. Basking in the holy glow. And as I said, transcendence. Through this ritual, you will be holier than you are now. Finer. Closer to God, anointed. Mm -hmm. I see several of you have welcomed the glow of the holy detonation into their bodies to the required extent. Who among them is willing to take this step? Excellent. Then let's begin. First, chosen one, the oaths. Do you swear to worship the holy detonation as the savior of humanity and put no other gods before it? Good. Next, chosen one. Do you swear to defend the holy detonation against defamation, injury, and destruction? Wonderful. Third chosen one, do you swear to follow the orders of the leaders of the church in all things relating to the church, even unto fighting in its defense? Fantastic! Then, finally, Chosen One. Are you willing to participate in the ritual of holy transformation and transcendence and let the mutating power of the Holy Glow evolve or devolve you as it sees fit? Exactly! The proof we require that you're not just using us to get to the holy detonation is your willingness to let us turn you into one of us. We need the detonation's blessed glow to survive, so one of you should too. That way you won't fuck with it. So, ready to make a lifetime commitment? I... <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't expect you to agree. Very commendable. Step to the conduit, and we will begin. Rejoice, O Seraphim and Cherubim, O Regolith and Herobim. Comes now the time of our cacophonous calamity. Brothers and sisters! An aspirant approaches. Oh, holy detonation! Through the power you have invested in this, your faithful servant Iridium, grant transcendence and transformation to this, your newest, most humble servant, who leaves behind their old name, face, and memory to be born again in your light. Iridium, let the power of the glow flow through you into this lost soul. We are the Alpha and the Omega, the Ostrogoth and the Astrolabe, the Anthropocene and the Paleogene, Pretender and Render. Oh. of the glow of the holy detonation.
creation, they are transformed! Rise now, Initiate, and rejoice in your new... form! Ugh, another proto-drool. Oh well, I'm sure the Proteus will welcome you. They love the Devolved. I dub thee... Uh, let's see... I, I dub thee... Postual! Bear this name with pride, Initiate, and welcome to the Church of the Holy Detonation. Oh, there! The ritual is complete! Your companion has been blessed! And, more importantly, will now require regular exposure to the Holy Detonation, or they will die. If you care for them, then you will have to care for the Holy Detonation, just as we do. We will. You have upheld your part, so we will uphold ours. We will meet with Bezor and the Proteus in the Holy Detonation's chamber, and learn what your outsider friend Theo Curie can teach us. May the Holy Glow protect you. <sighs> I am in awe of your sacrifice. To allow one of your companions to be changed like that in order to bring the two sides of the cult together. That was above and beyond the call of duty. But the citizens of Colorado Springs will honor you for it for ages to come. Because that sacrifice will have brought the miraculous power of the holy detonation to their homes and made their lives and their children's lives better forever. This is it, Rangers. The moment we've been waiting for. The moment when we connect the detonation to the grid. I can hardly believe it. Here. Hopefully Cheyenne's conflicts are all in the past now, but one never knows, so take this. Better safe than sorry. Now come. The others have gone in before us. Let's join them. Hurry! Rangers, <laughs> ah, the Proteus says they're overjoyed you were able to convince Deuterium to reunite with us. I admit, I've missed you, Bezo, and you, Proteus. It was never war I wanted. I wanted you to join us. And we wanted you to join us. Well, I wouldn't have left if you hadn't. Uh, sorry, Proteus. <laughs> we'll stop. Yes. Sorry, Proteus. If that's what the Proteus wishes. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the Proteus has been heartened by their dealings with you and Theo Curie and feels more contact with the outside world would be beneficial to the church. They are happy to allow you to siphon some power from the holy detonation for Colorado Springs, and would welcome visits from other scientific... No! This is not how we said we would share the glow of the holy detonation! We said we were going to free it from its shackles and let it blossom! We said we were going to spread its glow from here to Kansas! And beyond! Sister Polyp, please, calm down! You... Don't tell me what to do, you glad-handing fraud! You've broken your promises to the holy detonation! 
You all have! But I will set it free! Rodia! Absorb me! Absorb my rage! Fight for the holy detonation! Fight! God! Spontaneous mutation! It must be the proximity to the detonation! The Proteus absorbed her! It's getting larger! Oh no! The Proteus has gone mad with rage! And you are their target, Rangers! Until they're killed, you'll never be able to adjust the detonation's power output! But killing them won't be easy, for if the toughness of the tumor colonies is any indication, their body will be so robust, mere guns and explosives won't hurt them! See the heat sink reservoir over there? The base documentation says the canisters that lower its temperature contain pressurized cryofluid. If you raised them, then lured the Proteus near them and blew them up. The blasts might damage it. I believe the computers here on the central platform raised them. In a movie I saw once, they killed an amorphous blob by freezing and shattering it. Here, the cryofluid would freeze the Proteus. The canister shrapnel would shatter it. And if I remember the documentation correctly, more canisters are on standby to replace any broken ones. It would just take some time to refill them. I certainly hope so, or we're all doomed. 